What's up, guys? We are going into uh, Clash of Wills 4.2, uh, Trickster of Unknown Origin for uh, all mod, perfect clear. And we're using this team. Just to point it out, on Ashura, I unlocked all of the elemental resist uh, skills. Um, yeah, Celeste is going to be our magic tank. Uh, basically, the boss does... Um, a three turn rotation, turn one, it'll do non coverable, non provocable, non elemental magic damage based on stats. Uh, so, like the highest HP, it does one magic attack, highest attack, it does ma another magic attack, so on and so forth. Um, turn and then you know, some single target and AoE physical. Turn two, it'll do mixed elemental coverable magic attacks. It is, um, uh, the mixed elements are fire, lightning, wind, and light. And then the other magic attack is ice, water, earth, and dark. So the goal is to have, uh, without the resistance down, um, mod 140% average resistance to those mixed elements. Um, so total like 560 between fire lightning wind and light if you add those up and then same for the other elements it also does uh, non-elemental coverable magic attacks that uh celeste will be tanking and then you know the physical and then turn three it does um so uh, like a status down and uh evasion down attack and then the physical um physical attacks and then just starts the cycle over so it, it's not terrible as long as you have decent mitigations um what else to note on that oh after after the threshold it skips a turn so we're bursting on turn six turn seven it you know the three turn rotation doesn't come into play and then turn eight it picks back up again so we'll, we'll see it but anyway going through the gearing uh kaito in the base form just some uh he's provoking magister's clothes some morale fill type stuff he has a water weapon um yeah so there's that honestly i don't think the elemental resistance matters um this was getting leftover gear from trying to figure this out early on, but um, does need some decent amount of bulk. You can probably play around with everyone's stats uh, just to try to get separate people targeted on the very first turn. Um, so he's got this card. I mean, he's overcapped. Oh, wait. He's overcapped on true double hand anyway, so you could probably make that up somewhere if you don't have that card but shift form just built for damage against uh dragons and fairies 275 dragon 300 fairy 305 lb so there's that uh chain accelerator um yeah Esther, uh, base form, just built for damage against, uh, LB damage against dragons and fairies, so almost maxed on everything. We, the burst turn overcaps anyway, so it's, uh, it, it's, as far as your attack, uh, that should be fine that she has storm kickers on or 295 LB damage, but here's her gear. Um, oh shit, she is, oh wait, no, she has the Magister's crown for the chain cap up, but she has Kaito's card, and then shift form, she does have her TMR, she's starting in the shift form just for the preemptive cover, uh, some evasion, some, uh, LB fill, and with Dragon's Brush, Luminous Clothes, and yeah so there's all that 
Celeste base form, uh, again, tried to average 140% resist to those elements. Um, trying to think. I, I may have overdone it, honestly. Uh, so we needed 100% to deal with the 100% down mod. Need another 40 on top of that. Plus, we're getting a 60% buff every turn from Kresnik. So, this may be overkill. But, she survives. Alright. Um, but yeah, here's her gear. Paws of Prosperity to help with LB fill. Call of the Wild to help with LB fill. Um, and Phasey's card. For some HP and Spirit. <clears throat> Shift form, there is a turn where she's uh, eating some physical attacks. So, tried to build her for high HP and defense. Um, sort of, where did this come from? I think that was a, oh, Ray of Hope Lars's. That gives her uh, dual wield. And then, Sword of Light from the recent event. Goblin of Lilies for some preemptive LB fill and guts. So, there's that. Uh, Roberta, just built for damage against fairies and dragons. And then shift form, just some morale fill type stuff like golf on the lilies, conductor's baton, and some evasion. And again, so, some of this, uh, oh yeah, advanced weaponry for uh, LB fill. But she has an ice weapon on. Uh, you do have to do... Uh, either water, ice, or dark elemental damage every turn. Which, after running through this, oh, and, and her banner card, just any high attack or high magic card should be good. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm actually missing elemental damage on the very first turn, but... It's fine. I mean, the rotation works out to a perfect clear, so. Uh, sky, base form, water weapon, uh, some evasion, some mitigation. Her own TMR or STMR. She has the Magister's uh, accessory in both forms. So, and again, leftover elemental resist from, you know, earlier clears. Tyvus' spirit, if you have it, it's not 100% necessary. This gives an LB damage buff a little higher than what she does in her shifted LB. Um, Aran's card for some fairy killer. Shift form, uh, LB damage against dragons and fairies. Uh, 275 for the races and full LB damage. There's that. And then Kresnik, some counter materia to help with LB fill, full evasion. Uh, gulp on the lilies and yeti combat style again for the counter so he attacks twice uh philosopher stone seeker for morale fill stuff um you could use pretty much well like pure lotus or whatever pure white blessing um shift form geared the same uh i don't know why i have formal suit on him in the shift form but that's what I have. Uh, I gave him a high MP card just so he eats the one of the attacks, one of the non-elemental magic attacks. So I'm going to cut the video just to keep the uh, length down and pick back up here in a sec. So, all right, let's get into it. Oh, and apologies, but... Just to point it out, Kaito is starting in shift, Esther is starting in shift, Celeste is starting in shift, Roberta is starting in shift, Sky is in the base, and Kresnik is starting in shift. And again, as far as espers go, just mix and match those for killers as needed. Um, again, Ashura is on Celeste just for some added um, elemental resistance. Um, she ended up having higher HP and spirit with Ashura than uh, Lakshmi anyway. So I just wanted to avoid any espers that, you know, 
brought down any of her resistances. Okay. So all of our auto casting. Go ahead and shift whoever needs to shift. We're going to shift sky. And we're going to shift Celeste to the base form. So Kaito, this turn, is going to Torrential Devastation just to get rid of the, the boss's Mirage stacks. Uh, uh, preemptively to the fight, it puts up five stacks of Mirage. And then again, at the threshold, after the threshold, it puts up five stacks of Mirage. So this is four attacks. I think it's four or five, but this will get rid of all that Mirage because... It attacks four times, and I think it's a two hit. No, I think it's just a one hit attack each time, or three. I don't know. At any rate, this gets rid of the Mirage. <laughs> so, Torrential Devastation, Destabilizing Form, which is Morale Fill and a Break. It's also an accuracy down by 25%. And then Deep Submersion fills morale too, and it's a bigger break. So we'll do that. Roberta's going to fill morale. <clears throat> Goes Dragon Killer, which also has a 30% Dragon Mitt. And then Dragon's Aim, which increases accuracy. That's the morale fill bonus for this fight. So, we'll do that. Sky is going to LB. Esther is going to Energizing Bunny, Quantum Storm, just because it's a non LB um, skill. Uh, we'll just do that on Celeste. And then, what else? Oh, the Storm Guardian for the big bits for the party. Celeste, this turn, is going to cover, provoke, and then cure Aga. Cressnick is going to arcane stimulant for morale fill. So as long as you disperse your uh, skills well enough, then, um, or if you disperse your stats well enough, nobody should eat more than like one or two attacks. And given everyone's high HP, they should be fine. Um, so anyway, uh, this turn Celeste is going to LB. And just to point it out, there is, uh, like a Simon Says kind of thing that the boss does, where if you don't do the action that it says to do, it does a big MP drain. Um, it's a little RNG um, with this clear. So far, it's been okay. Um, but hopefully, we don't get into a situation where we're screwed. But we'll see how it goes. But anyway, uh, so base form LB with Celeste for the big mitts. Roberta's going to the base form. She's going to fill morale. Draconic Triune for LB fill. And then Igneto's Domain for bigger resistances uh, for three of those elements. So Esther's going to the base form and she's just going to LB. Sky's going to LB again to stack up. One more time. Kaito's going to the base form. He's going to do Swelling Current, which is uh, racial mitigation against fairies and a water amp. And then Receding Tide, which is a bigger uh, dragon mitigation. 
And um, I think there's like five stacks of Mirage in there somewhere too. And then we are going to uh, Cascading Slash, which is an accuracy buff and a morale fill. Presnick is going to Arcane Antioxidant for um, some resistan resistances every turn. And uh, yeah, Roberta already got rid of the Imperils, so this just reapplies a uh, resistance buff every turn. And morale fill is pretty tight. You want it to 150 by turn 4 to unlock Kaito's bigger uh, breaks. But anyway, this turn we are going to put up uh, shift, shift Worm with Kaito. We're going to do Crashing Waves, which is a bigger break and a perfect dispel. And then it reapplies a perfect dispel and breaks for the next two turns. Uh, Aqueous Infusion, which is a water in peril and a water amp and imbue for himself. And then Deep Submersion for the morale fill. Esther, this turn is. Uh, we'll wait on her. Plus, this turn is going to shift and put up Protectga Shelga. Not LB. She will protect Ga, Shilga, and uh, life devoted to the opera for an uh, LB fill on everyone. This guy is going to base form, and she's just going to triple cast her LB fill skill. Roberta's shifting. She's going to fill morale. Dragoon's aim, and then uh, charging raid. Tresnik's just going to arcane stimulant again. And Esther is going to just shatterbolt. And shift, and then she'll shatterbolt. So now that we're at 150%, we have Kaito's good breaks unlocked. So we are going to, where are they? Um, Deadly Stream, Natural Flux, and then Torrential Downpour, which is, uh, Deadly Stream is a 90% break and an all-weapon in peril, and Flux is um, Elemental in perils and a 90% spirit break. And then torrential downpour is the 200% killers. Esther, this turn, is going to provoke. Oh wait, we need some more control. Roberta's gonna show. She is going to Draconic Triune, Mega Breath to unlock quad cast, and then just morale fill. First, we want to shift Sky and LB with her. Gonna get his base form with Celeste and LB with her. So we'll go ahead and come over here now. Then we're going to provoke cover and then Shatterbolt with Esther. Kresnik is going to put up re rays. Uh, potion and remedy.
So yeah, turn four there, the three turn rotation just started over. So we saw those non-elemental uh, magic attacks targeting people based on stats. So we'll see uh, coverable magic attacks this turn. So we need to reapply cover with Celeste. Provoke, and then Kiraga. Kaito is going to the base form. And he's going to do his Magnus for a water and beauty on everyone. And an LB buff on himself. Uh, Tranquil Flow for some morale fill. And Cascading Slash for more morale. Bird is going to shift. She will. Morale fill. Dragon's aim again. And then just punch. Sky is going to the base form. And she'll just do Tybus' spirit. Uh, we need a little more MP. So we're going to potion. Antioxidant. And then just potion again with Crescent. So type of spirit. Esther is going to the base form and she's just going to power up. Bolting slice twice and then calm before the storm. And we'll go ahead and put up the defense and spirit buff this turn too. So this turn, Celeste really doesn't have anything to do. She's going to guard. And this is the burst turn. We're going to get wiped. Um, it's just a fact of life. Which is unfortunate because we lose... Uh, we lose Crescent's autocast of resistances. But it is what it is. So we'll just do whatever three random skills with him. Just for some morale game. This guy is going to shift and LB. Her bird is going to go to the base form. And she's going to Mystic Breath four times. Going to LB with Esther in the base form. And we're going to shift Kaido and LB with him. <clears throat> so we'll send Roberta, wait for the chain to start, and then just send everyone else. Which, I forgot to activate the Attack and Magic buff, but turned out alright anyway. you do more damage if you had, but that capped, um, I believe, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so everyone got wiped, we're starting over more or less. So, Crescent this turn is just going to supplement, or actually potion, remedy, and then re-raise on Celeste. I'm going to shift Celeste. And she is going to put up Protectica, Shelga, and Provoke. Esther is going to shift and put up Energizing Bunny. For a buff on anyone. Sky is going to shift and LB just to start stacking up again. Roberta is going to shift. She's going to put up uh, Dragon Killer for the mitigations. Uh, support from the skies for Mirage. And just punch for some elemental damage. And Kaito is going to shift. We are going to 
Devastation, Submersion, and then Unpredictable Tide. Submersion for the break, Unpredi Unpredictable Tide will shorten the duration of a all stat buff that the boss put up on himself. Pretty well there for Celeste. So this turn, I just want to do this before I forget. We're going to put up the attack and magic buff, defense and spirit buff. We need to refill HP and MP on everyone. <clears throat> and going to do discerning will just for more morale. So Kaito is going to water and view on everyone. Uh, downpour for the killers. And then torrential force for a mob boost on his bolting strike skills. Roberta is going to the base form. She is going to put up Mega Breath and then Mystic Breath. Kresnik, we're just going to attack with. So between dual wield and Yeti combat style, he should fill Sky and Esther. Eh, a little shy on Esther. We should be all right though. Celeste is going to. Base one LB for the mitigations. And Esther is going to provoke, cover, and then shatter bolt. So the sky is going to LB. So we are going to try to cap uh, Roberta with sky. So we'll send Roberta, wait for the big flame thing to start, and then send Sky. Lucked out there that Esther didn't die. Okay, this turn we're going to shift Kaido. And we are going to Torrential Blade Storm three times. Sky is just going to in the shift form still. Fury Skyfall three times. Now, if Esther had died on that turn, we would just uh, raise her with... Uh, with Kresnik, but uh, she didn't, so we kind of have a free action. We're going to just AoE re-raise with Kresnik, um, Antioxidant, and Potion. Celeste is going to reapply Cover, Provoke, and then Kiraga. So since Esther's still alive, we're going to turn her to the base form and just chain bolting slice with her. And Roberta can quad mystic breath. So we'll just send Roberta, wait for the chain to start, and then send the other chainers. Did I put up the... We'll go ahead and put up the attack and magic buff. Then we'll go ahead and do the chain.
which is fine that they died, um, honestly. So our water and view from uh, Kaido has worn off and the boss has, let's see, yeah, the elemental in peril has worn off. So to fix that, actually we'll need to refill MP on everyone with Tresnik. Uh, Celeste, this turn, is just going to shift. She is going to uh, life devoted to the opera for, well, I guess we don't need LD fill, honestly. We'll just Kiraga three times for morale gain. Because we're about to kill the boss. Uh, honestly, we can LD with these two. Um, I know we don't have an LD buff, but should be fine. Uh, we're going to just do morale, more morale stuff here. Actually, we'll just chain with these guys. Uh, Torrential Blade Storm with Kaito. Now, if, if you'll notice, if you have Kaito, um, one of his skills is a f more effective below a certain morale level. If this will... Yeah. So, Devastation is for 0 to 100, and... Blade Storm's effective 100 to 200, so there you go. Esther is just going to triple bolting slice again. So Roberta is going to Inferno Breath. I know Fire is not one of its uh, uh, effective <clears throat> or one of its innately weak elements, but this is better than nothing. So we'll Inferno Breath and then Mystic Breath two times. Sky will just LB with her. So we'll just send Roberta, um, wait for the chain to start, and then just send everyone else. So we're imbuing fire, amping fire, and imperiling fire with Roberta's skill. So that should be enough to finish the fight. So should be a perfect score. Hopefully we got enough morale gain. Yep. So perfect score. So again, even even though we didn't, you know, activate the attack and magic buff on the burst turn, we still, you know, capped that. So even if you're a little short on morale, you should be fine. I wish I told you how much you over overshot morale, but anyway, um, yeah, there's the damage breakdown. Eee, Esther. I guess she did only have one burst turn, really, though. Um, not counting her chaining, but anyway, um, yeah, it's a non-chow, non-riser uh, clear. Hopefully it helped. I know there are a lot of other clears out there. I think Sinzar has like five different clears, and um, Liv Dilly has, you know, the, is it Liv Dilly or no, Wanderer, Ellen Wanderer has, uh, the riser clear. So, uh, anyway, um, hope it helped. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.